Yo, what is up, guys? The Elite Shot here, aka Sean. I'm doing a live commentary on the map Moon. And I cannot wait to play this. But to tell you guys the truth, this is actually my second time playing. This morning, when I woke up at 7 o'clock, before I went to soccer practice, I downloaded the maps pretty quickly and played it once. I didn't get that far. I actually got to round 11, my first try. So, yeah, this is my second try. It's a live commentary, so I know a little bit more information. And hopefully, I can get a little farther than round 11 and get you guys this commentary. Alright, when you first spawn, you're, you start at this, like, uh, this place not in the moon but down here instead and all these zombies start coming out of the ground there's no wall weapons in here and you only have your knife and pistol and this I'm pretty sure it's infinite amount of zombies and once you take the teleporter which is over there it keeps track of how long you survived in this this single area so I'm wondering if they're gonna have a separate scoreboard just for how long you survived in this room but it's pretty much impossible to stay in here because so many zombies come out and once you hear an alarm sound they all start springing after you so it's like right now oh dude I gotta run Teleport, there we go. Now once you get in here, just take this, go straight up, grab this thing, and just put it on because you'll suffocate because there's no oxygen. And it's so awesome. Look at all the zero gravity shit. It's so cool, dude. Okay, quick revive in case I get downed. Oh my god, this map's so insane, I love it. It's so much different than the other maps. It's a lot more fun because it's such a big change. All new features, new weapons, <laughs> zero gravity floating around everywhere. It's so sick. And the sound, the audio is even different because, you know, you're in the moon, it's zero gravity and it changes the sound waves and shit. It's so cool though. I know my way around a little bit. Not exactly, like, when I first played, I actually got to round 11, like I said. Um, I figured out how to get back, I found out how to get back to, uh, to the starter, where I just was before. There's like another teleporter, like, far out in the map, gotta buy, through, buy my way through all the doors. I'm not sure about the best route to take because it is my only second time playing this map. And, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's so many doors. I probably spent at least 10k just buying on doors and shit. I'm probably gonna buy this door first. Yeah, buy this door first. Then, um, here's the Olympia, and I'm pretty sure the M14 is over here. Uh, but I don't want to go over here since this takes me back up into that room again. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't go buy the door over here. I think it's, yeah, it's two knife in round two. Oh, shit. Yes, double points. It kind of sucks though since you can't hear the zombies, it's all, you can't really hear them behind you or whatever. So it's a little challenging, but, but it's all good. Oh, it's so funny how they just float around and shit. I want to get as much points as I can. I guess I'll just buy it now. This map is so sick, I'm so glad I got it. I pretty much got it as soon as I woke up. I had stock practice, like I said, at 8 o'clock, I woke up at 6.30 and I played it as much as I could before I had to leave. <coughs> And I actually got pretty far for my first time. I got to round 11. I had no idea where I was going. I just kept buying doors and tried to sur tried surviving and tried figuring out little things. Um, I found out what that one space dude that chases you. I'm not sure when he comes, but after a few rounds, you'll, you'll notice a space guy with a red name over his head and he's coming after you. He takes away all your perks and also teleports you to a random area in the map. And uh, pretty much has you so you're blinking red health. But, oh my god. It's like crazy. <laughs> Zero gravity. I want to get trapped. <laughs> I don't want to float into a zombie and get double whacked. I'm going to try my best to survive and get to a higher round. Probably make a few videos out of this, hopefully. I just want to get a good gun off the wall. I'm pretty sure in a few more rooms is M16, which works pretty well. I'm pretty sure the MPL is in here. Uh, M16, I think, is in here, actually. If I can find it, I'm getting lost already. Yeah, M16 is over here. I just want to get out of this room as fast as possible because these are pretty... Pretty close quarters, and it's pretty challenging to, to stay alive in these rooms. I actually want to get to the part. I'm pretty sure you guys seen the gameplay of Moon and how you've seen those like launch pads. They like, had like a yellow glow to it, and if you jumped down, it like l like floated you to a different area. I want to get to that area of the map. It's it's like the like most wide open spot, and it's the best spot to stay alive, I'd say. And a, when I first played, I actually got the box over there. I'm pretty sure I can buy this door next. There's another door another door down here, I think. I'm not even sure actually. I just want to get to these doors as fast as possible. So I don't want to be trapped in here. And then probably after this, I'm probably going to play some zombies with my friends because this map is so sick. And I cannot wait to get a high round with some, some of my friends or something. And also the other maps, the original World of War maps. Can't wait to play those. After I died at round 11, I actually played 
Doris for about five minutes. I just played it enough to get to the second realm on Doris, and I got the. I bought the Thompson. It's, when you buy the Thompson, it seems like your hands, everything changes, unless I didn't notice, but they did revamp the maps and they made it so they would fit in Black Ops. Um, they are they have some World at War weapons, but only the weapons on the walls. Out of the weapon box, you can only get well, you get the Black Ops weapons, just not the well, the war weapons. Oh, look at all these zombies. I just don't want to get them. I'm sneaking behind. Oh, like that, dude. And there's a space guy. There's a space guy, dude. If I get close to him, he'll freaking take my perk away. All right, death machine. I can kill him. He like, explodes. Watch what happens. Yeah, he explodes and like launches you. <laughs> I'm not sure if the explosion can kill you, but definitely launches you. Probably launches you into a pile of zombies, if anything. Whoa. Oh, it lags a little bit. Alright, is that all the zombies ready? Alright, I might I might as well buy the door, I guess. I'm not going to risk staying in this room. I don't have enough points yet, really. Repair a few windows, I guess. Here's a zombie. Headshot. Yeah, it's so funny when you launch and they just go ragdoll style. Zero gravity floating in this in the air. It's so sick. It's so cool how they like changed all the physics of zombies for this map. Can't imagine how long it took. So there wasn't many glitches, because I'm sure there's gonna be glitches, guys. I'm pretty sure there's glitches already and people found some already and you know, off the start when people first find the glitches, everyone gets the high scores. But then they're probably like Hopefully fix it. And right here, I'm, I'm assuming this is part of the Easter egg. It was in the video as well, and there was a bunch of videos like Syndicate and a uh, bunch of other zombie stars like Yodi Slide and all that. They posted videos explaining this and what they think and their their perspective, what it is. It's probably part of the Easter egg, obviously, or it has to do something with the storyline or something. All right, awesome instant kill. This would be great. Get some more points. I can't hear them though. It's like you can't hear anything on this. Even with their game game volume blasted, you still can't hear anything. It's all. Audio is all distorted and very quiet. Come on, what? Wow, really? Oh, 750 for this door. All right, all right. And hopefully, I'm recording this because last time, the game before this, I figured out that 10 seconds of the match I wasn't recording. So I just quickly, rest quickly restarted. Oh, this door. I forgot about this. Where does this lead me to? I forget if I should buy this door or the other door. I think this room right here actually leads me to the Novgas. Well, the Novagas crawlers spawn, and those the Novagas crawlers in this map, they actually teleport to you. Well, here's the power. Here she, here she said, apparently in like Tunnel 6 Laboratory or something, the power is restored and there's, there's oxygen apparently. So, I noticed when I was walking around the map, I see numbers on walls, and... They, every room has a specific number, and I got this max ammo shit. Yeah, I got it. All right. Every like, yeah, every room has a number, and I'm assuming what she says, whatever room she mentioned, the laboratory, like something level six or something. I'm pretty sure she just said that room has oxygen, so I can take off my mask in there. This mask, this mask doesn't distort too much of your view. It does cut off a little bit, like the corners, but that doesn't really make a difference. Let me see if I get some points for killing this guy, because here he is again. I get like, what was that? Oh, didn't even know so much points. I think I got 600 points. I don't know. Get out of here. Here's double tap. Um, yeah, all these buttons I know it's too. I'm not sure what they're for. Oh god. I hear no grass crawlers, guys. Hopefully I don't go down here. I really do not want to get down right now. <laughs> oh, here they are, guys. Damn. These things are freaky because they just teleport to you, dude. Look at that, dude. They just teleport, dude. It's insane. Get out of here. It's not a good room to be in. All these rooms are so close quarters. It's like risky as hell. There's Deadshot Dacker over there. And here's the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Please land on it. Because if you don't land on these things, you if you if I fall, I don't have PhD floppers, so I'll just die. But these are what was in the... This is what... In the, oh, come on. See this thing right here? If I land on it, I survive. All right. Yeah, last time, the first time, here's the box. Sweet. I think the box stays here every single time. Or actually, it moves around, but the first time, that's where it starts. But yeah, when I first played, the first time I got to round 11, I took the launch pad, and I didn't land on this little cushion, and I just died. I'm like, you serious? I just died? And like, I had no idea what I was doing, I just freaking fell on the ground and died. And I have no ammo. I really need a weapon right now. 
Oh god, dude, I need a weapon bad. 